Guys, let me tell you something about the Bose Headphone 700 real quick. They really deliver when it's time to enjoy your music, work from home, or listen to your favorite podcast. They're genuinely such incredible headphones, and I just got them in the mail. And I didn't think they were going to be as good as as when I first put them on. But, dude, they cup your ears. It's like it's like having two pillows on the side of your ear. It's like the perfect snug feeling. You can now personalize your environment with 11 levels of noise cancellation. You'll experience an immersive listening experience at any volume with signature active EQ and impressive bass response. Whether you're listening at low volumes or really want to turn it up, your music, music sounds just as it should, and you can clearly hear your podcasts. To learn more, visit www.bose.com. Hey, guys. Hold on, hold on. Dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? Guys, we have to just re-record this whole podcast again. Cause I... Jay, dude, it's fucking crazy, bro. Bro, we I... just We just recorded the podcast. Bro, you give nothing. You give no indications of when. I text you all the That's time. That's your job. You it's have one job. It's not my job. It's Taylor's job. No, your job... Your job is to fucking turn the equipment on, oh my and my God. job is to be sexy as fuck <laughs> and, and bring in all the listeners. You should, you, guys, guys, you we should. just hold on. We just got. We just finished recording the podcast, and and Jason and I'm like I'm laying in bed. I'm like relax. I'm like cozying up, watching a YouTube video. I'm like mm, everything's done. I feel so good. And then Jason goes, Dave, and I go, what? And he goes, did you hit record on the podcast equipment? <laughs> and I go, no, Jay. I didn't record any podcast equipment. He didn't fucking didn't record any of it. Let me tell you something. You haven't been sexy at all since we started recording. So why don't you start doing your job and start being fucking sexy? Jesus, that's a, that's a low blow, Jason. <laughs> all right, just roll the intro music. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the Views Podcast. That's Jason. I'm David. Um, been seeing a lot of DMs um, saying that they really love the sex stuff on the podcast, which one is surprising, and two, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we give you more of that, but we're gonna keep that till later in the podcast. So just like television, the later you wait, it gets dirtier. So uh, tune in later, and by later I mean probably like the four minute mark because we just that's all we actually should do when we talk about is just masturbating and uh, jerking off. Is all the nudity at the end of television? Yeah, all the we nudity comes that. at the. So if you're listening with your parents. Turn the podcast off at like uh, like the twenty five minute mark or like thirty minute mark or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. Or just or just fucking build this crazy cool relationship with your parents. <laughs> Here, parents. I'll break I'll break the ice for you guys right now. Turn to your mother or father and go. What was it like having <laughs> sex? No, okay. No, I don't do that. Don't do that. All right, let's just talk about this stuff. First thing I want to bring up, super important. Have you guys seen the shit where like have you guys ever eaten an orange in the shower? Apparently, it's like a thing. I feel like Madison, you would know. It's like it's like when people say Doritos taste the best after you just went swimming. Yeah. Have you heard about this orange while you're showering thing? I've heard of it. I've never done it, though. Have okay. you done the soy sauce ball thing? Were you, yeah, we did that. Jason, did Jason dipped his balls in the soy sauce. Balls in soy sauce. Did it yeah. work? No, yeah. but it sunk up the living room. <laughs> 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 and my couch is stained from soy sauce yeah. now. No, no. But I, I, I understand. Like People say the orange... Like, it feels good when there's, like, cold water hitting your face and then it's, like, juicy in your mouth. I, I don't know. It feels right. Why 100% like, chips showers. out of the pool is amazing. Chips out of the pool are hitting. Amazing. Always. Ruffles. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, thanks for joining us. A couple weeks ago, we were talking about how once one of my assistants, Taylor, drove you home. And we were all under the and, – and, and that night, you were flirting with her very don't much. Don't Taylor. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the podcast, <laughs> uh, and first of all, I don't like how you addressed Todd and I, my two I scumbag friends. I, what the fuck did I we do? I never said that. I never said that. You said, don't hook up with any of my friends because they're scumbags, <laughs> especially Todd and Jeff. Okay. <laughs> That's I never not said what that. I said. Okay, so there was one day, Taylor, explain what happened. We were all watching a movie here. He asked for a ride home. <laughs> no. Great. That's it, right? Great job. <laughs> Great <laughs> job. No, no, no. That no. sounds pretty suspicious, Taylor. No, yeah, Taylor. Taylor. It, it is a little suspicious is a little with Uber and Lyft and all of Jeff's friends that drive in places. How long no. was you gone for? Pandemic. I'm not trying to get a virus. Not, exactly. You were gone all night? Yeah, it was. It was well, the, I went no, home. No, she, like, it was oh, It was okay. done. She was leaving yeah. for the night. I, thought, I forgot that. And that's why it was BS. Jeff, you were talking to Taylor extra long that day. And I remember, I remember... I, like about a couple hours before that, you walked up to me and as a joke, you said, I'm going to fuck your other assistant. Yeah, I've been saying that to you for a while now, even before <laughs> Taylor was your assistant. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I know. But like then I thought it was happening. I thought you guys were going to hook up. And from today, today, Jeff comes up to me and he goes, hey, Taylor did a good job of covering up for us. Exactly. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, admit, you did hook up with Jeff. Oh, no, 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 no. Jeff? No, Taylor's an angel. I was trying to actually... 
take her and hire her to work for my team over at Wittick Enterprises. <laughs> that was my goal. I wasn't trying to hook up with her. Taylor, would you ever leave if someone poached you for a job? Like, what would it take for you to leave? A lot. No way. Beyond. I mean, actually, I believe that. But what, what, what would it be? Because you're very, like, loyal and you're very, like... That's awesome. Give me yeah. a number. Give me a real question. Anything. I'll make it happen. I mean, not... Okay, any- Taylor, let's say, let's say someone came and they were like, hey, we want you to... BuzzFeed comes up to you and they're like, hey, we want you to come work for us, $200,000 salary, and you get to live in a mansion. No. Bullshit. And, 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 and I am bullshit. so loyal. Okay. Yes, you are loyal, but you're not going to leave for a $200,000 salary. And somebody that appreciates your pork chops. I saw you cooking that <laughs> right. meal. Right. I, I this guy chewed the it up and spit it out. I appreciate the pork chops she made. I just said they weren't like my mom's. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just going to say. My stick. mom, Taylor was trying to make this recipe that my mom makes, and it just wasn't too close to my mother's. This sounds horrible. Spoiled <laughs> brat. So I spit it on her. <laughs> no, but Taylor, what would it take? Honestly, um, what's the number that, that someone could say that would get you out of here? Well, all it would take is one more meal that gets put down oh, into okay. the trash. I'll go eat that pork chop out of the garbage right now. Thank you. Yeah. And Jeff. Yeah. You want to so go, go ahead and fucking work for Jeff. <laughs> the way these two are looking at each other is weird. That's hey, Madison, I know you're They're, picking up on this. I think we I've may have triggered vibes. something. That's my problem now. Like, as we were talking, I was like, fuck, we just made something happen. Yeah, when I, when I heard the podcast, I was like, fuck, he fucked up my game plan i blew it up you aired it out <laughs> i was trying to go with taylor but okay well can you start what you said over there can so you introduce yourself first i'm addison what's Ray. your name sounds like a porn star name my- but she is a tiktoker i'm a tiktoker and what did and- you say over there off mic okay so me and todd and mike were sitting on the couch <laughs> and i'm like looking at my indirects on twitter and i'm like oh my gosh like getting upset about it and then Mike looks over at me and he's like, look, th- those people don't matter. They, that, those are your real friends. This is your real people. This is real friends, real life. And I'm like, yeah, but David wouldn't talk to me if I didn't have TikTok followers. <laughs> Do you actually believe that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> and here's David agreeing with me, nodding his head. David, is it true? You're a smart girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, of course not. No, I actually, I actually really do like you. Oh, and Charlie lives on the East Coast, so it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Addison, I think you're, you're great. I, no, Addison, I, will, I have right. said this behind like your back, and I will, I will rep you for. <laughs> oh, God. No, seriously. I, I genuinely think you're, you're a really, really cool person. I've said this to you. I fucking said this to you the other day. I think you're like one of the, the only people on that app that has like potential that like, he exceeds. He has said this about you. He said this about you to me. Yeah, that, ha- that exceeds the app, and you know that. And that's why I'm friends with you, because <laughs> I think I can milk you for way longer than this guy. <laughs> and because I have followers. But, no, what I was saying, too, was, like, the other day, I was, like, doing this deal. And I, like, look at my phone, and it's blowing up. It's, like, Natalie missed call, like, four times. Like, David FaceTime me five times. Oh and I'm, like, oh, my God, they missed me or something. Oh, my and God, they I, missed I, me. <laughs> I really did. I was, like, are they going to ask me to come by? Like, they missed me. And then I look at my text, and Natalie's like, SOS urgent. And I'm like, oh, oh no. I'm fuck. like, did something happen? Like, I'm it's, glad they're reaching out to me to help them. Okay? And I immediately call Natalie back right when I see that text message. And, and it's David that picks up and goes, so I'm trying to post a TikTok right now. <laughs> and it's not letting me record with the green screen on top. So what do I do? And I'm like... My heart was racing. Mm. I was like thinking I needed to help you guys with something. That's fucked up. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were in the middle of a brand deal. I just didn't know how to record with the green screen option. And you know fucking everything about that app. That, well, that, that's what I'm here for. Today. That was my fault. Okay, let's get into this. Addison, uh, for those of you, for those people listening that don't know who you are, how many followers do you have on TikTok? I have 45.1 million. That's crazy. And when and this podcast is probably out, you'll probably be at 46. I feel like such a, like an old, like... Like Ryan Seacrest talking to somebody, and when this, and then when you guys are listening to this, she'll probably already be at fifty million. That's how fast she's growing, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, so forty-five million. Mm-hmm. And how many months ago did you start TikTok? Um, I started the beginning of July. That's when I downloaded the app. I downloaded the app in the beginning less of than last a year July. ago. Yeah, less than a year, year ago, you started TikTok, and you have one of the biggest followings in the world, and it's completely translated to your Instagram now, right? Like you get, you get like basically Kylie Jenner likes. I would say. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm being honest, right? What is that? What is that like? What is it going from being in? What were you in high school? 
Were I mean, you in college? in college? You're in college. Yeah. What was that like? Where was it? Where did you go? Oh my God! What the fuck is going on? Because this is like an actual like overnight type of thing. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like other people like like it's like a slow build, but it literally happened in like minutes. Like what was the first video where you blew up? Um. Well, my first video that I ever posted, which is like not even on my page anymore, um, it got like ninety three thousand likes in like two days, and it was like my first video, and it was very random, and then I ended up like posting more after that just because I was like okay this is weird like I've never gotten more than like 105 likes and um I posted my mom and that was my first video to get a million likes with me and my mom lip singing that's fucking crazy (laughs) when did people's mindset change about you like when did they either did they go like when you first started TikTok when you're uploading like one or two three videos on the app like what did people think of you then were they like oh this girl's so she's such a loser for posting or what was the first impression people got like when you were posting before you got any followers um, no, I think, I mean, I had just graduated high school, so I'm sure those people thought I was pretty weird, Right. but I think like for the most part, I mean, like I was, my first post on my TikTok right now is like me in a cowboy hat. So like, I think a lot of people were like, oh, this is a Southern girl. Like people weren't used to seeing like country people, I guess. And then how fast did people like change up on you? Like they were either jealous and they would like send you something mean or they wanted something from you. Um, I mean, that happened probably... Honestly, like right around the time when I got like 300,000 followers that because I remember like me and my mom like made this huge deal about like how I got 300,000 because it was just so much. To you me. think your mom's using you for clout? Yes. A hundred percent. No, honestly, like she, well, like I said, like she, my video of her and I was like the first one to like really blow up. And that's how people mm-hmm. like knew me. It was like my mom and yeah. I. Yeah. What is that like when like, because your parents both have TikToks, right? Mm-hmm. What is that like when they're making TikToks also and they ask you to be in them? Um, like, I remember one time my dad posted something. He posted something. Do you remember this? He posted something, and I was like, he'd never fucking post that. He's just posting it because I know he thinks he's going to get likes. Like, is it ever like that? Are you ever like, my dad's just fucking fishing for likes? Oh, my dad, for sure. Oh, my really? dad is, yeah, like, my dad is, I don't even want to speak of his Addison, TikTok. wake up. <laughs> I don't even want to speak of Addison, do I do green screen? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, it's the worst. My my mom's a little more like aware and like careful about what she posts because she like realizes that a lot of people see it. But like my dad, like it's such oh my god I can't even speak about it. Like Other- sometimes I tell him to delete it. Oh yeah, because <laughs> yeah. yeah, because they're like really embarrassing, and I'm like oh my gosh I can't. Charlie almost made me delete uh, pictures today of her. I was really? like whoa who's is this? That, that is so content? bizarre. Yeah. Yeah, and then she goes, Addison commented on it. Just leave it. I was like, okay. <laughs> my, da- my, daughter's in, my daughter is obsessed with Addison. And talk about to talk about feeling insecure, okay, so t- um, <laughs> Charlie called me like Wednesday. She was like, she's like, Addison's hanging out with David. Addison's hanging out with David. And I was like, David didn't fucking call me. <laughs> so, I mean, like, you know, everyone feels that way. Yeah, and then Jason commented whale on my TikTok. <laughs> what? <laughs> Addison made it so you can't comment the word whale on her TikTok, and then I went in to see, and you can. So for those so of you now, there's one comment that says whale from Jason Nash. <laughs> we all need a break now and then, but why not keep your brain active while you relax? That's why I love the fun puzzle game Best Fiends. It's an oasis of fun you can take everywhere. Um, I really, I genuinely do love Best Fiends. But it's just funny that they put it, it's an oasis of fun into the script. It's something I would absolutely never say. <laughs> but um, Best Piece is great, guys. Uh, Natalie literally plays it all the time on her own, um, which is great because I, I don't have to communicate with her a lot. But it's also kind of shitty because she doesn't get any work done. But it's a unique and exciting puzzle experience. Hi, David. Oh. That's really, you don't have to throw me under the bus. <laughs> That's Natalie, guys. <laughs> Uh, the, it's a unique and exciting puzzle experience unlike any other puzzle games out there. Best Fiends updates the game monthly with new levels and events, so it never gets old. It does not require internet to play, so you don't need to worry about Wi-Fi access or using cell data. You can collect a ton of new fun characters, and they update the levels monthly, so the game never gets old. Best Fiends has thousands of levels already, with new levels, events, and characters added every month. It's hours of fun, right at your fingertips, and you can even play offline. With over 100 million downloads and tons of 5-star reviews, Best Fiends is a must-play. Download Best Feeds free on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. Addison, you're in the you're what top three TikTokers in the world? Top two? Oh uh, yeah, I'm number two on the app. Okay, what what is the most amount somebody on the app has gotten paid for one TikTok? For one TikTok that I'm aware of, that someone has gotten paid for. Yeah. That I'm aware of. Yes, that you know. We think you'd be pretty aware if you're the. 
Right well, up no, no, but I'm just saying, like, from a broad aspect. Yes, yeah, somebody. Like, anybody it could be you. It could be somebody any else. Value. Anybody, okay. yeah. Let's all guess. Okay, go. Okay, I'll take a guess. I, 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 I can guess right now. Okay, go. 80,000. 80, oh, I was going to say more than that. I was no gonna say 100. fucking way. I was going to say 100. I was going to say easily, like, for 45 million people? No, it just doesn't engage as it, much. It's got to, you know, it's got to be. It's got to be more than that. No, I'm saying one post. I'm not saying a record label takes you and makes ads from you. 250,000. 90. 90? But yeah, but that's like 90, from what I know is like what someone's been Well, because TikTok offered. is still new, so like brands don't want to they they, they want to see how it works first, you know. Like two hundred thirty thousand is the kind of numbers you see on Instagram more because it's like yeah, Madison Beer is here, that. everybody too. So Madison, okay. I'm, I'm gonna flip the question to you. What is the most you've seen for one Instagram oh, post? I mean, Instagram is insane. People get paid like a million dollars for a story. Some people you've se- you've seen one person get paid for a story a million dollars. Yes. How many frames? Three, how many views do they get? Like five frames, probably. Or five like a, frames. Okay. I don't know. So five Insta stories. I know for a fact that they're not dollars. doing it for less than a million dollars. And how many opens do they get? Forty million views. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. Yeah, that does make sense. That I was thinking you're gonna be like this five is, million. I was I like, know. what am I doing wrong? But I guess that's no, a swipe no, up, no. right? And there's no link. Yeah, on TikTok. It's, it's like swipe up. It's full people, ad. It's like this is TikTok. by the way just a preface. And this is not talking about myself, but like right. there are people with hundreds of millions of followers on Instagram, and like their reach is much. Like with TikTok, you can't engage with things as much as you can on Instagram. So totally, that's why the brands. Yeah. The thing I hate about like TikTok prices is people think that these TikTok TikTokers get paid per post. Yeah, yeah they so like everyone will do I've math and they'll that. be like Addison Ray gets paid $45,000 per post oh my god I know they're, and it's not yeah. like it's, it's, and she posts she has four 600,000 posts up and then it's like yeah. they make up some ridiculous they're like, yeah they're like, yeah, they're like oh my god she's posted 30 times this week which means she's made 18 million dollars this week alone <laughs> no it's only when it's branded is yeah. you make money yeah and who's, who's that guy that does everybody's net worth have you seen that oh, guy I've seen his videos. Yeah. before we finish this conversation can we throw the question to you yeah what's the most you know of someone getting paid on YouTube for like a <laughs> on YouTube seat geek type like middle of a video thing, yeah, someone yeah, yeah. like someone similar to you, like, yeah. <laughs> so on your channel, if you had to say what, you're yeah. Doing. And also, I want to know. To be honest, the top three YouTubers who make the most money. The top three YouTubers who make the most money. Yeah, I'm curious. I think it's uh, Ryan Toy Reviews. Yeah, I know him because I have he, makes, he has a drug problem. He's <laughs> he, he's an eight year old who reviews toys. What? He's That's the like, he's the highest oh, paid YouTuber. Toys, I think he it? makes like two million a month. I, this could be off. Yeah, it's com- it's completely ridiculous. He's my inspiration. Fuck That's this insane. channel. <laughs> Fuck you, mom and dad. I want my coke. Like what's yeah, okay. So like a big YouTuber can get. It's not even that crazy compared to like the big Instagrammers, but it's like five hundred thousand dollars for an integration on YouTube, for like a 20, 30 second plug. I would say. You gotta start like, YouTube. Oh, yeah. The wrong business. No, but but yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is bizarre. But the, that's much more than people get on Instagram. I feel. Yeah, like. but I feel Other like. Other than like the big. But I big, feel big like Instagram account. stories. Like I have, I too have seen away. people that get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for stories, and it's like ridiculous. Yeah, and it goes away. But like YouTube is more of like a production you're putting on. We talked about this earlier. Would any of you girls, Madison or Addison, would any of you guys consider an OnlyFans? Because we were talking about how much money people make on there. You could be honest. You guys are looking at each other like you don't want to reveal it yet. I I wouldn't because I think that I um, would crash the site. I just think that like I don't and I don't remotely shame anyone who does it because everyone has their own hustle and like power to you in my opinion. Um, but like I don't know. I just feel like with my music and stuff, I feel like it would just kind of like take away. Focus, or make your or take rather. your music to the next level. <laughs> but I just would rather like the way I make my money, like at the end of the day, right. to be from my music than other ways. Right. But like literally, like mad respect to any girl who has the bravery and like the confidence to do that because that takes a lot of confidence what, and it's dope. What about you, Addison? Um, I don't know. I feel like after you said that, I kind of like get that. <laughs> I changed my mind. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I was thinking about just you know saying I was gonna do it, but no. Um, I don't know. I feel like that makes sense. You know, I feel like if I were to take everything I have like and, and put it a different way it'd probably be like you know continuing to dance and like hopefully do like um dancing for shows and like right. not those kind don't, of you don't want to take away you from know, your me. craft yeah I don't want to take it away from Jay if like if Matt uh, only fans yeah I'd do it yeah but uh, yeah if if like male bodies were as in demand as female bodies are yeah. would you do only fans would that if if people wanted to see you naked, <laughs> is that like a thing in that this you bizarre would... world that I'm crafting? Because I know, because I, I know, I'd be like, fuck yeah, like I'm kind of down. But only if you I was mean... a woman. Only if I was a woman. Like if it was like switched and it was like, you know, because w- women bodies are cool, men are just like. Mm. That's why I think awful. it sucks when like a lot of I see a lot of girls get so much hate for making OnlyFans, and I'm just like, 
Power to you, like that takes. Oh my god, totally. Like, if it makes like, you happy, I don't see what? hate at all. Yeah, I, I actually, oh, I, I, like, oh, I, I feel like the yeah, internet's really it, right? welcoming to I that. Well, no, some girls part of the internet. Being, like y'all can hate me all you want, but this is how much money I make a month or whatever. And oh my god, just, like, I, I have multiple friends. I have multiple friends that have done OnlyFans, and it's fucking insane, like how much they're making, and they're doing something that they're like, they're not even like doing anything that they're like really ashamed of. They're just like, oh right. yeah, I, I would take these pictures of myself anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now I'm just putting it out for a couple of people to see. Yeah, like, I, I don't really mind that. You, like- yeah. But you would, Jason, 100%. <laughs> no, why are you saying that? <laughs> <laughs> right, so Jason you would. Wanna, I knew it. Jason I knew Jason would. would. Yeah, I have Jason. kids. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. What would, what would you, would you have a conversation with your daughter if she turned 19 and she made an OnlyFans? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not, no, I would not have her. Absolutely that. not. You wouldn't bring it up? I, I would t- I would fucking lock her in the closet. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't want her to do it. Oh, no. oh, I thought. Oh, you... yeah, I know. No, fuck no. Weird. And not because there's anything wrong with doing OnlyFans, but I think when you're 19, you as might, a dad, of course, you it's might not person. know if that's the right thing for you then. Right. Mm-hmm. That's all. But if you were like 26, I'd but be like, dad, right, look, I made eight hundred thousand dollars last month. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Let me see that. Let me see the money. Let me me look at it. Yeah, that's money, all right. I haven't seen money like this since the vlog squad. (laughs) (laughs) A dream is just a great idea that doesn't have a website yet. Make it a reality with Squarespace. Guys, Squarespace allows you to create a beautiful website to turn your cool idea into a new website, showcase your work, blog or publish content, sell products and services of all kinds, or promote your physical or online business, announce an upcoming event or special project, and more. Squarespace does this by giving you beautiful templates created by world-class designers, powerful e-commerce functionality that lets you sell anything online, and has the ability to customize look and feel settings, products, and more with just a few clicks. Everything optimized for mobile right out of the box, analytics to help you grow in real time, and they have built-in search engine optimization with 24-7 award-winning customer support. You have nothing to patch or upgrade ever. You can make it stand out with a beautiful website. Head to squarespace.com slash views for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code views to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Jonah got an email today and it was like, hey, um, SNL is wondering if you'd like to come audition for SNL. Like, uh-huh. it, it's just from like an agent and it looked like it was like an open cat. It wasn't like, um, hey, Lauren Michaels uh, really, really wants you here to audition, oh. right? Like it wasn't like that. It was just one of those. Oh. I read the email and it was like, hey, SNL. Need some new cast members. Would you like to come audition? And then Jonah spent the next, I don't know, 40 minutes talking to us. And he's going like, I don't know if I want to leave you guys. Like, <laughs> I, 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 have to go, I probably have to live in New York. And I'm like, bro, you haven't even fucking began to send the audition tape in. I, talked to, I took him to get fried chicken. Yeah. And he was saying the whole time, how do I tell him? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Jonah thinks that like that's his way of like manifesting. Mm-hmm. So he thinks that if he like talks about it like that, that he'll get it. But you've done that with other things that like aren't coming true. But it is the complete wrong approach in this business. You have to be extremely lucky, and yeah. you go at it like, oh, this is already in the bag. Jonah, it's got you, nothing to do with luck. Jonah, I mean, I, with, in my case, yes, it does. <laughs> Jonah, you need one like you need to learn from under promising and over delivering. I think that's what you need to start doing. I, I don't know, man. He's so far gone. I, I think he's just – I think it's best he just fucking stupidly rose through life. And I, I swear to God, David, Dude. he'll fucking get SNL. He'll get it. You know, like, you know, he'll, he'll just get it. Like, someone will just see him and Lauren Michaels will be like, you're so fucking dumb. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jonah, listen, there's, there's, there's a couple things that, like, I, like, verbally say out loud. Like, I, like just, I have, like, a spasm and I just say it. Like, I go, look at this beautiful view. And I go, look at this beautiful car. And my third thing is always, how fucking lucky is Jonah to have found any of us? Because it is crazy. There is no other job in the world he could possibly be doing than being a f- – his, literally his job is to – it's to not know what's going on. That is his job. <laughs> okay. like, he has the perfect job in the world right now. He couldn't do anything else. He'd be late to work. Yeah. He wouldn't He wouldn't finish his task. I, and I got to say, Jonah, he'd like. piss off his boss. And, and guys, I'm not saying this to be mean. This is, Jonah, you can agree to this, right? This yeah, is, I guarantee you. Yeah. This is, I mean, you, have you ever worked another job anywhere else? Yeah. Where? I got fired all of them. Where, where did My you My uncle's work? paint shop, and I ended up dropping like an $800 paint, and I got fired. Your uncle fired you? <laughs> yeah. From painting? From feel like that's that's probably the easiest. It was, thing. It, was it was like car supplies and stuff. And, and but David, imagine you know how it would be on a real TV show, right? So Monday he would need to be at SNL, no, to write. He would he would need to be there on Wednesday at noon for the read through with the host. Yeah, they get all the scripts noon. 
you got to fucking be there because, no you way. know, especially, Alec Baldwin's the host or someone huge. Like, especially in New York. No fucking way. There's a Dunkin' Donuts around every corner. How he fucking gets stopped. <laughs> There's no, no way I, he's going to – he would get lost in the big city. There's no way he'd make it to work on time. Jonah, if you got the job, SNL, if they hired you, would you take it? I don't know, man. You'd have to. You just blew your chances of ever getting it. <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. No, I, I, okay, I would. I would. Okay, explain to me, like, explain to me what goes on in your mind. Have you ever, have you ever another job other than the painting job? Yeah. Okay, what was your other job? What's uh, another job you worked? I mean, I didn't make a single penny. Only fans. No, I tried to be a fucking truck dispatcher. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? You were dispatching trucks? Yeah. What does that mean? Like you sat there and you were like, hey, you need to go northbound yeah. to Vermont? Yeah. Jonah, be serious. I swear to God, dead fucking ass. I did it for three months and didn't make a single fucking penny. What do you mean you were a truck dispatch? How does someone even get into this? This was like six years ago, dog. I was like, yeah, it was a long How time old ago. were you six years ago? Uh, Fucking... <laughs> 19, bro. You were 19. Yeah, 18, 19. Yeah. How, 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 are you? I had a job when I was 18. How did you not make money? How did you not make money? Would you send the trucks the wrong way? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just... Uh, okay, so this is... It's a really fucked up business. So what they do is like they literally hustle the drivers, but I didn't know how to lie. Like, I would... You'd have to, like, lowball the shit out of the dr- trucker so you can make, like, 300 bucks. Sounds like they were hustling you. Maybe. But, like, they, all these guys would be on the phone. Yeah, yeah like, I'm going to load you up. You Quick run, like... And then they make, like, 400 bucks in the middle. What type of scam artist business did you get yourself into? And then I couldn't do it. Like, I couldn't talk to these... I'd feel bad and stuff, so I'd give them every single penny. I'd go, like, you know what, bro? It, they're giving $2,300. Take it all. Well, hey, it's a two-way street, bro. We're lucky to have you two. And, you know... 100%. We need... Every every gym needs a punching bag. If he gets SNL, Kay. David, what will you do? If Jonah gets SNL? Yeah. I'm going to be super stoked for him. Genuinely, I, I'd be so happy for him. Like, That's I, nice. Jonah is one of the only... Jonah is also in my like top like five of favorite people. Sure. Like I I've said that before. It's Aww. like it's like Ilya, Jonah, like my friends from my hometown, Aww. Mike Sheffer. It's like <laughs> <laughs> wow, <thanks. laughs> nice. It's like a, it's like That's a it. very weird list. It's it, and, and it's very specific. It's and, based on who we can make fun of the best. The it, most. It, it is that <laughs> no, it genuinely is that. I don't know yeah. what it is, but I love the people that like I can just make fun of, and I could I don't know. I love Jonah to fucking death. Like, I miss him so much when he's on around. I'm not even kidding. I know I sound like I'm bullshitting. <laughs> but, like, going to college shows with him is the fucking best. Him and his sister. Two, two fucking dumb shits. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but they are. They're great. I love them. Ilya, I know there was a time. You told me about this, but you were thinking about selling cocaine? Yeah, there was a time. But, like, no, explain <laughs> it. What happened? Oh, yeah, well, I was riding along with Dima the other day. He's like, yeah, you know, one time Ilya and I were seriously considering starting a cocaine business. I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was like uh, this scheme that we had in high school. We were like 18. I was working at like Office Max, and one day we were like, yeah, let's just start like hauling drugs over the Canadian border. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, bro. (laughs) Jeff. Uh, No, yeah, it was, and then we like really went deep into it, and like we got super stoked about it. What do you mean by deep into it? Like, did you like, actually start, plan on purchasing some, find ways yeah, to transport yeah, it? Yeah, we started, like, Did you talk to my cousin, Vinny? <laughs> <laughs> How deep were you, bro? Yeah, we started, like, figuring out our team, right? Like, who's going to do what? Like, who's going to, like, go across the border? You guys would have been in jail in a fucking week. I don't think so. Yes, Ilya. Wait, Jeff, there was one time we were in Miami, and this guy walked up to you, and you went, this guy just got out of jail. You remember that guy? Everybody in Miami I know just got out of jail. <laughs> no, but he, you're like you're like he didn't snitch on one of my friends or something happened. Oh yeah, explain yeah. that to her. I thought that was fucking crazy. So he was not selling cocaine. He was ordering bricks of synthetic Molly from an Indian website, and he could get them for like three thousand dollars on the website. But you're sending your money to a random. This is like I'm giving like a shitty tutorial on how to sell drugs. Here. Right. <laughs> but this didn't work. He got a long time in jail. Don't try this. Plan. Don't do this. But he uh, he was ordering these these bricks, and they would come in protein powder uh, bottles. Right. And each one that he paid three thousand dollars for, he was able to sell for thirty on the street. So thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And then if you break it down and sell it in like ounces and stuff, you could get sixty. Okay. 000, okay. Sorry. 000. Sorry. You said for every three thousand, he'd make thirty thousand. 
on yeah. the street. Now, how easy is it to go out and convert this into real cash? Like how, like I've always wondered this, like when like robbers walk away with like 30,000 or 30 pounds of gold or something. And they're like, this is worth $25 million. I go, where the fuck are you getting all this money for the gold? Yeah. Like, how do you, then, it. like, how do you then get, how do you then transfer the gold into cash? So like, how did, where, where do you sell that Coke? Is there like a guy that you go to that everybody goes to? How does that work? You build up a clientele just like any business. Like when you first started selling merch, you weren't selling as much as you're selling now it takes time and you're like yeah it's different you're not wow. advertising it so fanjoy is a coke operation <laughs> <laughs> no, no 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 right I mean, you meet a couple i met everybody from the barbershop i worked yeah, in a barbershop so everybody I came in from the barbershop yeah yeah and everybody coke. comes in you have to talk to them for 30 minutes they're sketchy anybody wants a haircut any three days every three days is probably okay and then what happened okay, it's, it's kind of out of context does anyone else use rofl anymore Fuck, that is, that is really, for it's really out of context, bro. <laughs> Jeff's telling a story about how his what did you say? Yeah, and you know what pounds, I just realized? Bro. How come every time you bring me on here to talk about fucking drug dealing? You brought it up, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You grab the mic and you're like, okay, let me interview him. Oh, yeah, you're you're right, you were right. literally, you grabbed the mic from Jason and you said, let me interview Ilya. I know about drugs. Okay. I only ever sold weed. That okay, was it. I get that. But okay, $30,000. What happened with your buddy? T explain to me. He got arrested? Oh, he got he got very greedy. And that <laughs> one that he bought ended up buying 60 and then he was buying 100 and then oh. How much was he making a week? He made a lot of fucking money. I don't even know back then. I was 19 and I was drunk every day, but it, He made a lot of money. And then what happened? He got caught and what happened? He did 7 years. 7 years. Oh. Straight. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't snitch on somebody? No, and my other friend who was selling a lot of them also, he didn't get caught. He's just a lucky, lucky guy. You probably know Honey is PayPal's new money-saving shopping tool. But did you know it does more than just automatically apply coupons to your cart? It's a way to save and get free gift cards to some of your favorite stores. Here's how it works. Just shop like normal and let Honey apply the best discount to your cart. Then whether a promo code is found or not, you can earn Honey Gold, Honey's reward points. Let the gold points pile up and cash out for free gift cards to stores like Amazon, Sephora, Target, and more. It's Honey's way of passing even more savings on to you from the commission it makes when you check out. Right now, our listeners can head to joinhoney.com slash views and get 500 bonus gold points, but only if you use a special URL. Just add Honey to your browser and sign up for an account. That's it. Then you could stack your savings, get promo codes and gold points on the stuff you buy every day, from new clothes to groceries to food delivery. Not using Honey is literally passing up on free money. Add Honey to your computer or laptop for free at joinhoney.com slash views and get 500 gold points. That's joinhoney.com slash views what's something that no one understands here deja vu deja vu is pretty cool yeah I deja think, vu is I so cool is i never had deja vu bull fucking yeah. shit you've never had deja vu never had it i've been to the strip deja club deja vu, deja vu. <laughs> i know what deja vu is he's been to deja vu deja vu is when you have a familiar feeling wait 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 wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, no 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 it's when something uh, something happens around you and you know it's happened before you feel like it's happened before yeah. and you've it's experienced happened again. that exact wait, stop stop Give, Jason, you've never experienced deja vu? I don't think so. I don't think I have, no. I had the weirdest deja vu experience when I was like, I don't know, eight. I remember it to this day because it was so fucking insanely weird. I was having deja vu and I was watching the TV screen and I guess what was next. And I remember I'm like, they're going to show a horse. And they fucking showed a horse. <laughs> Bro, it was, I, I promise you I'm not lying. It's literally it was, Toy Story. It was the weirdest I know it was a, <laughs> it was a real horse. It was a commercial. He was watching a horse. It was race. a commercial, so you couldn't fucking guess a commercial. Have you guys ever heard of lucid dreaming? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. So, uh, real story. Real story. So, uh, so I'm I'm sleeping, yeah. right? And and I uh, I wake up in my dream. It's all in my dream. I wake up. I'm in the driveway. No, drive through. <laughs> no, no. I'm in the driveway. <laughs> It's a drive-through. <laughs> Holy say, shit! Crazy as fucking. I'm in. I'm in my driveway. Okay. And I start walking down, and I look through my window. I don't see me because my my blinds are closed. And I thought to myself, I'm like, holy shit! I'm like, I'm freaking dreaming, and my body's sleeping inside my room. I thought all that, and I started to walk. I started to walk in, inside. Like I started to, like open the door of my house, and. <laughs> Like, 
<laughs> Say it again. He's, he's just describing a dream that he had. <laughs> It's not a lucid dream. A lucid He's dream. like, so I was sleeping and I was in the sky. Yeah, Jonah, that's just a dream. <laughs> no, bro, I'm telling you, it was Jonah. The... Do you know what a lucid dream? Yes. is? Yes, you wake, you got, you, you fucking know you're dreaming. You like leave your body, like no, that's you're. Out of no, experience. that's out of body experience. Yes, there are other types of dreams. Okay, so He's like, I'll, I'll get to. Do you ever go to sleep at night and then like something happens, but you wake up, but it, like you're still like living in the same house? But, like, all right, fine. All I'll, I'll say another one. I'll say when you were sleeping. Jonah, say... hold on, time out. <laughs> The, the the problem with you telling these stories is there's something about your character that like that like there's something about like it, it's like so not believable and also like so believable it's like yeah you fucking have those thoughts probably like, throughout the day where I do. you're like having out of body experiences okay you're just so bizarre where your dreams like don't add up in a way watch 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 right. I know but like that's what I'm saying is you, uh, you can go on all day saying things but it's hard to do you know how do I explain it. Like because of who he is, it's, yeah. hard, it's hard to like. He has no credibility. No credibility, right? No okay, credibility. What the fuck does that mean? SNL. Okay, I'm going to SNL soon. I'm going to see you guys for a while. All right. So uh, another one I had, I actually lucid dreamed. I fucking was Superman. Okay. So how did you lucid dream? I'm not kidding. I fucking knew I was dreaming, and I looked down. I'm like, holy fuck! I'm like, I want to fly, and I fucking I put my hand up like Superman. <laughs> and I fucking shot into the air. That was Halloween 1999. <laughs> Jonah, that, no, no, I swear to God, <laughs> this is real. I actually like my biggest fucking thing. Jonah, when people I, are leaving the room. <laughs> <laughs> my biggest thing about like this is what you, SNL is gonna look like in a couple. Lauren from SNL. All right, give us what you got. <laughs> give us what you got. And, no, no, no. Whatever, dude. Right. So we really like the Superman story, <laughs> <laughs> and we're wondering if you could do it for the cold open. <laughs> So I was dreaming, and I thought I was Superman. I shot up in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday Night Live <laughs> with Nick and Tony. It's Superman story. <laughs> uh, shout out to this guy live from New York. It's Saturday night, bro. When I get picked up by Saturday SNL, you guys are going to fucking miss me so much. <laughs> and I'm going to miss you this. guys. I'm going to miss you guys a lot. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. I have no idea how I'm going to deal with it. He Fuck. gets hurt on Wednesday. He's home by Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out. Matt was saying he wouldn't make it through the first SNL party that they had. Jonah, Jonah goes to New York. He works Monday through Friday and then goes out for drinks Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate the hard work week. Jonah, where were you? It's fucking Saturday Night Live. He thinks he has Saturday you off. You didn't come to work. You don't have Saturday off. <laughs> um, have you ever had a dream where you're having sex with someone and then you wake up and you actually finished in real life? No. <laughs> yeah, by the way, Creepy Mike show. is back on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say? I, sa I said, by the way, Creepy Mike is back on the podcast. Uh, Joe, take out the creepy part. <laughs> no. Um, uh, no, I've never done Ill, you've done that? Yeah. You've you've come inside yeah. your dream? Yes. And yeah. it's also on the outside yes, of your dream? It's, the it's called weirdest a nocturnal thing you, you, emission. You fucking a wake nocturnal up. emission? There's a Wikipedia article about that it. That sounds like something Elon Musk would try to get rid of. <laughs> a nocturnal <laughs> emission? Uh, you, wake up, you wake up, you have like come all over, you're like, what the fuck's going on? Well, when really? You yeah. And then you're like, oh, I had sex in my dream. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That is you've, never, you've never had a wet dream before? I have had sex in a dream like maybe once or twice. Do you think you could make yourself uh, come without touching yourself? Like tantric sex? Uh, like, oh, like with my mind right now? Yeah. Like by myself? Yes. No probably. fucking way. If you it's don't jerk possible. off. If you don't jerk off for like 20 days, you'll probably be able yeah, to Yeah, if I can't, if I don't jerk off for a while, yes, 100%. If I were to knock on your door in your bathroom and I was like, hey, Dave, are you jerking off? Would you be honest with me? Yeah. I would because uh, yesterday I knocked on your bathroom door and I said, "Are you jerking off?" I, I was honest. I was actually pooping. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I would be honest with you. I, That's I, the I, worst when David is see. knocks on the door and goes, "Hey, you jerking off in there?" <laughs> Whether you are or not, Dude, it's Ilya, such an Ilya, invasion. Ilya, you of know, privacy. I, you know, I walked in on Jason masturbating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that video. Bro, Blair. fucking crazy, Matt. Listen to this. I'm fucking. I Facetime him. He doesn't know I'm at his house. And I Facetime. I'm like, "Hey, what are you doing today?" Like as a joke, whatever. And then he he's like, "Nothing. I'll I'll be over at your place in a little bit." He hangs up. Literally twenty seconds later, 
I bust into his door. I say, "What's up?" And 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 all of a sudden, he fucking like grabs his fucking blanket, puts it right up, and he goes, and he goes, "This is how you can tell he was working out." He goes, "David, what are you doing here?" <laughs> <laughs> like I've never seen him so angry Fuck. for me to come over. He's like, "What are you doing here, dude? What the hell?" Like I told you, I'm coming soon, man. I'll be at your house. And he was so mad, and I left, and I didn't admit that I and I and we didn't speak about it <laughs> until the next day when I brought it up in front of all our friends when mm. I was vlogging mm. because like it was so awkward that we both just pretended like we didn't we didn't experience yeah. that moment as soon as I heard that camera turn on the next day I went click I was like oh this is it here you go she's gonna yeah. bring up me and I remember I was like guys yesterday I caught Jason and <laughs> Jason goes fuck <laughs> and that was the first time me and him like addressed the situation like on the camera and he was like Fuck, here it comes. And I was like, should I not talk about it? And he's like, no, you can. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember when you'd catch, like, people jacking off to porn in libraries? Because there was no computers at home? Oh, we saw it would somebody happen doing all that the once. time, though. We, like, just, we just did we got We caught somebody a year ago, remember? In, in, in the vlog. I don't know if you saw it. But we caught a guy jerking off in a public library with kids around to porn. Yeah, dude, that that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's, that like that was, like, recently. Yeah, we, it was recently. I was like, a year "That's ago. crazy. That shit still." Jason, happened. Jason went up to him. How is that still happening? I have no I idea. Like everybody I've never has a fucking computer. I've never seen now. anything like that in my entire life. I thought, I thought I was being pranked. You, you've never password. seen that before. No, never. that time, dude. I saw my library all the fucking time. They'd always be removed. Like it, it would Florida. be so discreet. The person would come up to them and tap them on the shoulder and be like, "Hey, can you turn off the computer and go?" It, oh, but really? everybody it would that see much? everybody because so you'd funny. watch this like guy the whole time, and then you'd see the person come around. Tap him on the shoulder and make him shut off their shit and walk out. Wait. But it was so awkward every how, time how you saw How do you go there it. and like plan on not getting fucking caught? Hey, I don't know. I don't know. It's that's just... gonna suck getting the tap at the library, huh? Someone comes over, and gives you the <laughs> yeah, tap on the shoulder. The it's like you're right, you're right about it, but it's like fuck. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to log out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you to log out. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today's podcast. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you to all our special guests. I feel like we had like 30 of them um, this week. Go follow Jason on social media. Go follow me on social media. Follow everybody. Um, and we'll see you guys later. Um, this has been Abuse Podcast. My name is Jeff. Peace.